Welcome to this Blender tutorial video. It's designed for students who come along to Club 3D, which is a lunchtime club that I run at Manor Church of England Academy in York. It's designed just to be a quick um, video that's hopefully suitable for beginners, just to get started creating some fun 3D shapes using Blender. So in this video we're going to create a little cartoony car. Um, we're not focusing too much on photorealistic graphics or anything like that, just something fun and cartoony that we can create nice and simply. Okay, so starting from the cube that you get when you start Blender, let's go into edit mode by pressing tab. Um, and we're going to stretch this cube um, on each end to try and make it into a little car shape. So let's press control and tab so that we can go into face select mode. Select the face on the front and extrude it outwards with E. Um, and this is going to be the windscreen, so we want to select the edge along the top, so control tab to go into edge select mode, right click to select that edge, and G for grab, and I just want to be able to grab it and move it downwards, so I'm going to press Z um, to be able to constrain it in the Z coordinate. And then we're going to pull out the bonnet of the car, so control tab to go into face mode, right click and E to extrude, just going to pull that out a little bit and do the same along the back. So mouse wheel to be able to look at the back. Let's right click to select the back and E to extrude it outwards a little bit. Control tab to go into edge mode. Right click along the top. G for grab. Z to constrain it along the vertical axis. Uh, control tab again. And then we're just going to pull out the back with E. Okay, so we've got the basic shape for our car. It looks very boxy at the moment, but we're going to use a modifier called a subdivision surface modifier just to make it look a little bit smoother. So let's go back into object mode by pressing tab um, and then look for the spanner. If you can't see it over here, you might need to either make this a little bit bigger or scroll across. <coughs> Excuse me, that's my little, um, little son Daniel who's watching at the same time. Um, so the spanner will add a modifier and we want subdivision surface. Now this is a great way of making your models look a little bit smoother with very little effort on your part. Um, if we change this up to subdivide it twice instead of once we get a little bit more detail. You can subdivide it loads but the more you subdivide it the slower <coughs> Blender becomes because you have more and more vertices and the more vertices you have, so currently I've got 354, the more complicated your drawing is so the slower it is to draw. You can also on the left click smooth shading mode, which makes it look, um, it sort of makes curves instead of solid edges. We were on flat, so let's go smooth. Um, so it doesn't quite look like a car yet, it looks a bit too rounded around the edge. So let's go back into uh, edit mode, zoom in a little bit with control and mouse wheel. And we're going to add some loop cuts, that's control and R. Click on the um, any of the edges that go across the middle of the car and we're just going to add them in and you can see how you can change the subdivision surface modifier so we're just going to add one close to the edge by clicking control R click and like so and that's going to be um, the shape of our car all right we're going to put a simple color on it I'm going to go for a red car you can have whatever color you like so for this um, we need the um, materials tab it's the one that looks like a globe and we've got one material at the moment, just called, unimaginatively, it's called material. I'm going to change that to be bodywork. Press enter. And we're going to change the diffuse colour. The diffuse colour is um, the colour that uh, your object looks like when light shines off it. So I'm going to go for red, like so. Um, and we're going to add in a windscreen on the front and back in a different colour. So let's press tab to go into edit mode and into face select mode with control and tab right click to get one of them and then right click holding down shift so that we can get more than one I'm also going to get the ones on the side so holding down shift and right click lets you select more than one thing and we'll add a new material so this plus over here lets you add a new material and then we'll create a new one over here um, you can choose what color your um, your windows or windscreens are. Mine are going to be grey and then let's rename it um, windows uh, and then to make these faces that colour we've got to click the assign button over here. 
So we've got the shape of our car. Um, I'm going to add some little wheels. So left click moves this sort of life raft type um, thing. That's your 3D cursor. So I'm going to click roughly where a wheel is. And then Shift and A lets you add something. Now there are wheel um, or sphere type things there already, but they have lots of vertices. We don't want anything that fancy. Um, we're just going to go for a simple cube. And you'll notice it looks a bit like a sphere already because we've got that subdivision surface modifier on. It's already smoothing it for us. So I'm going to press S to scale it. Um, and rather than scaling the whole thing, let's press Y to just scale it in the Y direction. Um, it's a bit too big at the moment. S, scale it down. Um, you'll notice it's still shading in flat mode rather than smooth mode. So I'm going to press tab to go to object mode, click smooth, and then tab to go into edit mode again. Um, and let's create a new material and call it wheels. Um, and I'm just going to make that black. <laughs> Daniel likes that. And then click assign to make it black. Okay, we want to copy this. So a nice useful shortcut is Shift and D. There's another really handy shortcut when you're box modeling, which is Control, Alt and Q, which gets you your quad view. So this is your camera view. Uh, this is from the top, this is from the front, and this is from the side. And it's really handy for positioning things. Yeah. So Shift and D for duplicate. We're going to grab a wheel over here and then Shift and D and then click where you want it. Click Shift and D and then you've got your four wheels. So press Tab back into Object Mode, Control Alt and Q to get out of Quad View and we've got ourselves a little cartoony car.